So tonight, I thought I'd bring you guys along as we reinstall the ham and CB antennas back onto the roof rack that we just recently put back on. So, let's get started. So I think right here is gonna be the best location to install this thing. Uh, the reason for that, it's gonna give my antenna, well, one, it's gonna put it low enough for me so that I can pull it off if I have to. If we're going to low hanging areas, like if there's really low hanging trees and it's gonna rip the antenna off, um, then I can pull it off quite easily. Or if I'm going into garages, mainly is the biggest concern. I've hit a lot of antennas, or I've hit a lot of trees with my antenna. I've never broken one. They seem to be pretty strong, to be honest. So I'm not too worried about that, but definitely going into garages and stuff. This is gonna be tall enough that it's gonna hit. The other thing is this location is kind of perfect. It's easy to mount. I don't have to pull out too much cable uh, to get it to here. And it's still gonna allow my antenna enough distance over the roof rack that I think it's gonna be easy to tune. That's kind of a trick with these antennas sometimes, or mounting CBs, is getting them above the roof line. Not only does it help your, like, your distance in, in sending and receiving, right? The higher the antenna is, the better kind of thing. But the other thing that it does too is it allows you to tune the antenna a bit easier because there's not so much interference from, well, the body of your vehicle. I'm not a huge fan of these bolts sticking out so far though, so I think I'm just gonna take my little saw here and just uh, cut these down a little bit. I intentionally left this long in case we had to move this further up, but now that we're not gonna have to, I'll just go and go to the inside of the Jeep and pull this through and tidy it up. A little later but let's get this on there tightened down and then we'll uh, stick the antenna on let's see how it works there we go well it's more like two feet over the rack but you get the idea so my ham radio uses a different kind of mount. It uses like what's called an MMO mount or something like that. Uh, basically it has a bigger hole. It's just a different style. But I built this bracket to accommodate that and it used to be mounted to my roof rack up here. The problem is if I mount it up here, there's a high likelihood that we're gonna hit the garage door trying to get out. There's seriously less than a half an inch between my roof rack and the garage door. So we can't really put anything up there. But I'm thinking we stick this mount right about here and then put the antenna on it like this. The problem is, whoops, the problem is these bars here at a very big angle. Um, they lean towards the Jeep a lot. So that puts this antenna leaning forward, which doesn't really look good. And also the antenna is gonna smack the rack here. So I'm thinking we take this and give it a bend and bring it out. So the antenna is gonna sit more um, perpendicular to the Jeep, more level is just gonna look nicer. And uh, then we'll go ahead and clean this up if that works too. If not, we'll be building a whole new bracket. There is probably better ways to do this, but this is the way I'm going to go with. Let's see if this was enough. Oh, yeah, that looks pretty good to me. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with that. Okay, let's clean this thing up. Now that the paint's all dry, let's get this guy installed on here. Hopefully everything came out correct. I'm thinking we should actually put it as high as we can go. Hold on, let's check. I'm thinking, let's see, how high can we go? We have to have room to get it off too. Yeah, I think, I think we should go all the way up there. Time for the next part, actually getting the antenna wire hooked up so that we can mount the antenna onto it. This NMO count mount is, the NMO mount is two pieces actually. 
And essentially it's got this ring here and then this mount here. And this is just gonna go underneath here. I'm gonna run it that way, I think. And then we take this ring and cinch it down on top. This does two things, that outer ring. One, obviously it mounts the wire to the, the Jeep, gives it a mount, but it actually gives the antenna a mounting place too. So we'll just take our crescent here. There's actually flats on this ring and we'll just give it a little, little tightening down. Now the antenna itself also comes in two pieces. You have this top piece and you have your base. So now we'll just tighten the base on here. And again, we've got some flats to put a big wrench on and make that snug. And then we just screw our antenna on. And that's it. Our ham antenna is mounted. Now that it's installed, if you ever need to take this off, all you do is you grab it by your fingers and you unscrew this and then you take this piece off and now you have a low profile mount here. It's actually designed to do this. I do it a lot. You would think it would come off, but I haven't had come off yet and that's all it needs. Perfect. So you'd think we'd be done, right? Well, kind of, we're close. We need to make sure the bases, the mounts that we put on the rack, actually are making contact with the body uh, when you make sure they're grounded. So let's get our multimeter and check. So you, what you wanna do is you wanna grab your multimeter and we're gonna put it in ohms or some of them also do diode check at the same time. Some are really nice in that they, they have a tone. This one doesn't have a tone, it's a, cheap, uh, it's a cheap one. But essentially we're making sure that it doesn't say open circuit. So let me bring in you here, I'll show you. So here's our mount, here's an example. If I go right from metal to metal, you'll see that we get A reading. It's low which is fine, but we get A reading, right? What we don't want is open circuit like this. That's open, that's something. We just want something. So if I go to this bolt down here, for example, and here, we see that we get nothing. We have open circuit. So now that we know it's open, open loop, we know that this uh, antenna mount is not actually grounded to the rack. However, if we go to this bolt here, for example, which is connected directly to the rack, and this bolt here, we can see that we get a reading of some kind. And we can go around checking this stuff all day long. So we know that we don't have any ground from the antenna to the rack, but we know we have one from this bolt to the bolt going through the body. The question is, are we actually going to the body? So I have a bolt right behind here. You may not be able to see it. It's connected directly to the body and that's just from a previous mount. And then we're gonna go to a bolt on the rack and we are getting some sort of reading. So we know, we know there's no open circuit there. So we can kind of test all sorts of stuff. And that's still gonna be open. So we know the entire rack is grounded to the body. We know the antenna is not grounded to the rack. So let's fix that. So we're just gonna make ourselves a little grounding strap out of some wire. Now we don't need much here. There are better ways to ground these, but this is 14 gauge wire, should be more than enough. We're just looking for a little bit of ground. got a rubber band and tape on it. What the heck? Might as well make it look as nice as we can, right? So now we just loosen up one of these bolts. Slide this spade guy in here. There we go. And 
now we will just drive in our grounding strap. Perfect. Let's test this one more time. Bolt. Perfect. We have a reading. So we're grounded. Awesome. I hate bad zip ties. All right, the antennas are installed and not only do they look really good, they have a lot of functionality to them, right? Easy to take off, easy to put on, and uh, they're gonna function really well as far as output, I believe. Also, that means we can take these little guys with us again, and if one of us has to leave the vehicle for whatever reason, we can still, still communicate to the driver in there, which is super important for us. So with that, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content. And with that, guys, we'll see you in the next video.